fall out the television show. To be perfectly honest, I don't particularly enjoy it. I don't think it's particularly good. But I also don't believe that it was very good. I think that I did not like it because it did a bunch of things that I find really annoying about writing. I find certain things like characters acting stupid, stupider than normal. You as an audience member know that something that's happening and the characters that you're supposed to be empathizing with don't do that. They don't pick up on it. They don't see it. And that makes them seem stupid. It makes them seem foolish. It makes them seem like someone you don't actually want to care about. That's a problem. That is a significant issue. That I think is a real significant, solidly bad issue. It hurts me. It hurts me to look at. Because, 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 because inherently we want our characters to be at least somewhat interesting. Not only interesting, but relatable. Now, I think there are very few people out there that think of themselves as idiots. I think most people like to think they are at least average intelligence, if not above average intelligence. And therefore, we like to identify with someone that is, you know, similar to that. That looks like they've got, you know, similar type stuff. They like that. We like that. We want that to be the case. The problem with that is when we have characters that act foolishly to us, they become unlikable. Now, you might be able to argue that some of the things that happen in the Fallout television show, the first episode, well, you know what? They don't know these things. They've got, you know, some context to what they're doing, and that's why they're making these foolish choices. Even though we as the audience know, we can see, we can see, oh, hey, look, there's a, basically, there's a trap. Some people have set up a trap, and our protagonists walk into it, and they're unaware of it. That is a problem for me. I find that a huge problem. Because I don't like that. I don't like that this obvious trap is being set up. So, what do I do? Well, unfortunately, if a trap is, you know, very quickly handled, it's done very immediately, we see these things, and then immediately the trap is sprung. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like that my characters didn't pick up on this with all of the obvious signs that it was there, but it is what it is. So be it. So, with that being the case, what do you have to do? Well, what they did was they essentially strung it out over 10, 20 minutes. That's a huge problem. That was an enormous problem, and I hated it, because every single second, you're waiting for the trap to be sprung, you're waiting, 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 and it builds this frustrating tension. It builds a frustrating tension that frankly makes me angry. It frankly makes me Angry, 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 angry. 
So the issue that I have is that I don't like that. Now, here's the thing. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's not to my taste. I don't enjoy it. That's fine. That's totally reasonable. There are plenty of movies, television shows like that that I don't particularly like. But there are absolutely, absolutely movies and television shows that I don't like that are not necessarily to my taste that I can recognize are good. I can recognize that uh, Cider House Rules or, you know, some other kind of, like, sappy, sad type movie is good. Uh, a perfect example of this would be, like, Grave of the Fireflies, which I have never watched. I never will watch. <laughs> because I know it will hurt me. It will destroy me. It will mess me up, and I don't need that in my... I don't need that jumping around in my head. I don't need it. So, because of that, I'm not going to watch it. So I haven't seen it, but here's the thing. I know it's good. I know it's good. I know it's great. I know it is absolutely a fantastic, like, you know, like, pinnacle of art, essentially. The problem is, it's absolutely not to my it is absolutely not to my taste. Fall out the show. I was sort of possibly expecting it to not necessarily work for me. That is what I was expecting, but it didn't. It was, in fact, something that I could tell there was some effort to appeal Bandit. to the Light. appeal to the gamers and these types of things. Now here's the thing. I'm not a huge Fallout fan, if I'm gonna be totally honest. I think the if if I had played the first two games when they had come out, Fallout one and two, I might be a much bigger fan of the series than I am. Personally I did. I started with Fallout 3. That still remains my favorite. And I think the other ones really didn't live up to it, even though I've played both of them. Uh, I think I beat 3 and New Vegas. Never finished 4. But to be honest, it, it doesn't really live in my head. I can't tell you anything about New Vegas. I remember almost nothing about it. I've never gone back to replay it. I've never felt the great need to replay it. And to be honest, the process of setting this game up for this playthrough was pulling teeth. Because as you can see, this looks so much better. This looks wildly, wildly better than these other things. Now that being said, that being said, I did finally get it to work, as you can, as I would imagine you can tell, the voices have stopped working. That happened in the last time, too, when I tried to set this up before. But, yeah, it was pulling teeth, so I, I, I'm not the most favorite fan of this. However, it's okay with me. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with doing it. That being said, to me, these games do not represent anything that I'm wildly emotionally attached to. I know that other people are. And like when comic book movies first came out. When comic book movies first came out, people really liked them. People were really like, you know, just all over them. They needed them. They wanted them to work. I was one of those people. When Spider-Man comes out, when X-Men comes out, when Blade comes out, when, you know, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3 comes out, I wanted to like all of these films. I really, 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 really wanted to like them.
like all of these things because they appealed to the things that I liked. They represented those things. That being said, I did not really enjoy some of those movies. And in hindsight, I can say that now. Okay, the voices actually came back. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm not the greatest fan of this show. So I'm evaluating it purely on the aspect of, okay, is this show actually a good show? I don't think it was. I don't think this was an actually good show. I did not enjoy it. And there were certain things on it that actually were, like, objectively bad. The first thing that comes to mind, which, unfortunately, if I end up watching more episodes, is going to be a continuing thing. How bad did the Brotherhood of Steel and Power Armor look? Now, I'm not spoiling anything. You can see that from the trailer. They look terrible. They look awful. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, hey, the trailer is the trailer. That doesn't mean anything. You never know if things are going to be really good or really bad in the trailer. You know, the context of the show might entirely change that. That's entirely possible. It did not for me. For me, it confirmed what I thought, and they looked terrible. The other thing that I don't think looked quite right is the ghoul, who is getting a lot of, like, play now, Walter Goggins. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm a fan of that guy, I liked him in these types of things, but, and I think his character's probably really the only one that actually worked, but, he's barely in the first episode, whatever, so be it. The real problem that I have with it is that he essentially looks, I shouldn't say essentially, he looks exactly like the Red Skull from Captain America. That's literally exactly what he looks like. That's kind of a problem. Because he's not supposed to look like that. You know? He's supposed to look like a ghoul. Like a zombie. That's what he's supposed to look like. He doesn't, though. He does not look like that. He looks like the Red Skull. Like, basically, exactly. That's kind of an issue. But again, like, he, he doesn't look bad. That's okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm alright with him. But dear God, the freaking the Brotherhood of Steel people look so bad. They look terrible. They look so, 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 so bad that I cannot countenance them. They're just, they look so bad. somehow somebody you know thought this was a good idea and these were good looking characters they're not they're terrible they look so bad oh my god and that's a huge problem because they're going to be, they're supposed to be these big badass like oh man you know the first time they come in they're introduced and they're like oh man here's the big badass the seal team six big swing and dicks swaggering out of this type of thing. They look like horribly bad cosplay. I'm, I'm expecting them to trip over their, like, shitty plywood plastic armor every time they walk or move. They don't sound right. The, the, it doesn't look right. They don't look mechanical. They don't look like armor. They look, they're, they're, they're bad cosplay. I hate it. I hated them. I hated them. I hated them. I hated them. I still hate them. That's a huge problem. That's an enormous problem. And that's not going to get any better. They, you know, it's not like they filmed one of these things and then, you know, oh, you know, they broke for, you know, a, a six months, shopped it around, and then they got money to improve stuff. That, that didn't happen. That absolutely did not happen. You know what happened is, you know, they did all of this stuff you know, all together, all at the same time. That's a huge problem. The issues that they've got are, you know, not going to be solved. They're essentially, unfortunately, going to be exactly the same, you know, down the road. They're going to be exactly the same. That's a problem. That is inherently an issue. So, what do we do about that? 
best option, if we're going to be totally honest. It's like that is probably our best option, but we're probably not going to do that. We're going to try to give it a slightly better, a slightly, you know, chance. A slightly better chance of it being something worth watching. At this point, though, I've got zero, 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 zero hope that it's going to be good. I initially did have some hope. I initially, because I saw, I saw mixed reactions, to be perfectly honest. I saw two people who were bigger YouTubers who said, hey, this is really good. They really liked it. Then I saw two people who were smaller YouTubers, but still reasonably large, bigger than me, for sure, who said, no, I didn't like it, you know. One of them said he hated it, and I think he was the biggest Fallout fan. And then the other guy said, you know, this is like a six. This is like a six or a seven, but it's not great. And the reason it's getting pushed out is because it, you know, it appeals to the current, you know, uh, what do you want to call it? The current thing, basically. That's not great. That that is your, you know, if that's what your critics are saying, that's not great. Now, I didn't watch... Uh, Critical Drinkers, who's, who's the one guy who said it was a blast. I didn't watch his video on it. Now, the reason I didn't watch his video on it is because he usually does a full breakdown of the full plot of everything, and it's not worth uh, spoiling it for me. Even if I don't necessarily like it, I don't want to taint my viewing experience by watching him talk about, you know, here are the things that I liked, here are the things I didn't like, blah, 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 because they did this, that, and the other. I'm less interested in that. I want to be able to form my own opinions, you know, cleanly. So, I might give it another shot, but I went into this with way, way, way more expectations of like, hey, you know what, this might actually be surprising. This might totally subvert my expectation of it being terrible show because it, it looked like it was going to be an awful, terrible show. So that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting out of this. If it, you know, turned out that that was untrue, I'm happier than anybody because realistically I do want good things to be made and I want to watch good things. So I'm hoping this is good. As of right now, it's not. I did not enjoy it. And it's a problem for me. Now, I don't want to give any spoilers because, you know, for those exact same reasons, I'm trying not to. Trying not to give any spoilers, which is perhaps a bit foolish for me. But that's the best I can do best thing that I can do, realistically, is attempt to give you some semblance of an idea of why this thing might not be good. Now, why I personally don't find the writing compelling. I find the writing very cliched and annoying. As I said, the way that they introduce the characters, some of it is good. Some of it is good. Some of it is fine. Some of it is fine. Some of it I don't mind. But other stuff, it's not great for me. Some of it, I'm, you know, I've got some issues. Now, does that mean that I hate? Yeah, it's like, now, does that, now what does that mean? Does that mean that I actually hate the show because of those things that I don't like? 
Now I can look past that. Uh, and I'm dead. Hardcore mode. And full pack. Oh, I actually forgot to do something else with this. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I don't like it. Because. I don't like it. Because of. seems stupid. I don't like that. And that makes you think more about the scenario itself. Like, all right, does this trap make sense? And it doesn't. It absolutely does not make sense. In, in my view, it absolutely does not make any sense whatsoever. I really did not enjoy the fact serious problem for me. So because of that, you know, the, the bad guys don't seem like they're threatening. They're, they seem like they're there purely to make the plot happen. They don't exist in and of themselves. They exist purely at the, you know, cost of story. There are some dumb lines here and there that I thought were really stupid and the people that say them survive which is absolutely wrong. They need, they need to die. If you say some really stupid thing in the midst of, you know, some horrible stuff happening, yeah, your, your character's marked for death and they need to die. They don't, which is unfortunate. The Brotherhood of Steel, yeah, so essentially I'm talking about the Brotherhood of Steel and the uh, Vault storylines. Those are, at this point, the only two stories that are actually fleshed out in any way, shape, or form. The ghoul, uh, you know, storyline, it's there, kind of. Uh, it's the only one that works, which is why Walter Goggins and the ghoul is getting so much traction. It's because it's the only one that people can actually look at and go, oh, yeah, 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 that was good, I liked that. That's it, that's the only one. acceptable for your, you know, brand new television show that you sunk, I'm sure, many, many millions of dollars into, hundreds of millions of dollars probably, it's not acceptable that you are somehow, you know, missing the lion's share, like out of a 75 minute episode, 60 minutes, 65 minutes uh, are like painful to watch. There's also a bunch of stuff that's like not really explained well, uh, which I find infuriating. I find it really infuriating that our, um, our one hero does not get any kind of an introduction. He's basically just introduced, he's being beaten up, and no one says why he's being beaten up.
sudden going to have good stuff happen. And even if we do, it's at the cost of the introduction of your, you know, the introduction of your characters doing bad stuff. a temporary buff as opposed to learning a skill. Not ideal, but 